Hey guys, Mitko here from DN Models and today we're unboxing MiG-29 SMT in 70 second scale. This is a scale that I decided not to build around 17 years ago and I rarely get kits in it anymore. This however deserves our full attention. 9-19 is the newest MiG-29 that got into service and it features a rather interesting and aggressive camo scheme. The kits that we have for 9-19 are this one and Great Wall Hobbies for the 8 scale. Later in 2017 we can expect 30 second scale variant from Trumpeter. This is why this kit here is of great importance. They will most likely look alike. We have typical Trumpeter blue box with nice depiction on the sides featuring both aircraft numbers available plus the very abundant armament included in this set. The kit features around 150 pieces which is not a lot but for that scale is more than enough. In general MiG-29 is rather a small fighter jet so the measurements of the assembled model will be modest especially in 70 second scale. Inside of the box everything is packed according to Trumpeter standards, neatly arranged and nicely sealed in plastic bags. Some of the parts are additionally protected of course, most importantly the clear ones. Two color sheets are provided, one with the camo schemes and one with the armament description. A rather big decal sheet, nicely protected and the instruction sheet which is the typical Trumpeter production. It is designed to be a landscape oriented just like on their larger applications in 48 and even 30 second scale. Let's go on with the black and white instruction sheet for starters. Any one of you who has seen or owned a Trumpeter airplane or helicopter kit is familiar with the concept. In the description of the sprues is the start, then seats and cockpit will start your build like pretty much all the aircraft available on the market. A nice add-on is the wheel towing rod in case you want to add that to a small vignette. Not many parts in general and this goes for the holes built. No unusual complications, just the basics. This is typical for 70 second scale kits. Yes, we don't have the detail of the aircraft when scaled down 72 times, but we have simplicity and we have ease of build combined with faster assembly time. Let's not forget the most important advantage of this scale. The space that is required in case you want to have a larger collection of kits on the shelves. Imagine SU-27 family in 30 second scale or F4 or F15. It will be a nightmare to store them and even a bigger logistical nightmare if you decide to take them to a show or move to another home. The ordnance parts have a separate color sheet with the proper painting and decaling options. Even in that scale Trumpeter did a very nice job with it. I believe there is more than one reason why and the most important one is the fact that their upcoming 30 second scale SMT Beast will feature the same thing as an info sheet. A lot of rockets featured here, so in case you decide to show your aircraft in a show position with all the armament placed in front of it, Trumpeter made that pretty easy job. We have R-72 variants, R-77, KH-31s, R-73 and even R-60s. You name it, it's all here. We have a double-sided color camo scheme sheet featuring same looking aircraft with different aircraft numbers of course. Everything is done beautiful and it is a pleasure to be looked at. This camo scheme is something new for the Russian Air Force. It is some sort of an arctic splinter camo which so far is available on SMTs only. Makes the kit very attractive and one of a kind. Let's continue with the decal sheets next. Of those we have two, surprisingly neatly covered to be protected. There is a large amount of technical markings here and some black stripes which probably can be downed by hand, masking and fine airbrush. But still let's not forget this is the 70 second scale airplane and a small one too. So this amount of decals over it will take some time and effort. Trumpeter decals never presented any specific troubles whatsoever so I assume that those here will be just as fine as the ones that we've had before from the same company. 
we have cockpit displays on decals, armament decals, and of course the specific insignia for the aircraft. Russian stars, we have the newest type here, two numbers for two aircraft. Overall, thin film, clear depiction of everything, job pretty nice done from Trumpeter. And again, let's remind you, 70 second scale here. First thing we are going to take a look at are the main parts of the fuselage. Now everything is quite impressive from the get-go, just because for that size the detail and the texturing is pretty much unmatched. We have wonderful panel lines, wonderful rivets, wonderful gear wells and overall very clear execution of every single one of them. This is comparable with many 48 scale kits and even if the pattern for some reason here happens to differ from the real thing, you will get quite an attractive appearance in the end. No surface is left untouched. The upper and the lower fuselage, the wings, everything is with details. Nice addition is the fact that the ailerons are positioned slightly upwards. This is of course a bit exaggerated compared to the real thing, but it's nice to have it here. The same exaggerated effect is used with Great Wall Hobby Kits and even though for me it's a little bit annoying, for many this is very attractive. When I first saw this I kept repeating this is 70 second scale, this is 70 second scale, but it is truly amazing how far companies went in providing wonderful scale model kit no matter the size and the subject. I was pleasantly surprised finding this inside of the box and I bet you are too now having a chance to see it up close and personal. Now let's take a look at the sprue with the cockpit top, the nose cones and some dashboards. Note that the dashboards are with analog gauges rather than with displays as it should be on the SMT version. Trumpeter are a clever and experienced company and they left the option for many other variants on the famous MiG-29, as you might expect of course. Parts here are well defined, tiny enough and probably rather accurate shape-wise. We have two nose cones here, they are with thick profiles when looked from behind and I suppose they are not quite accurate in shape, especially in that scale, but that thickness that we have here gives one an option to handle the situation pretty easily with rougher grit sandpaper. Then we have two sprues with the nozzles and the seats. Seats are one piece molding and eventually we are going to see the same ones in the twin seater version. They are quite nice for the scale and one cannot complain about them. Well, one can of course, but in my opinion one shouldn't. Trumpeter did a great job with them. Nozzles are quite thick on the other hand. I cannot remember where, but I believe I already saw resin substitute for the nozzles. Of course, resin gives us more options for super detailing, but let's not forget that in 70 second scale, things are more about fun and pleasure than accuracy, especially for such a small project which is already available in the bigger scale. Whatever the case is, a promising science when you come to think about the upcoming 30 second scale kit. The vertical stabilizers are placed alongside SMT's dashboard and another cockpit top here. Stabilizers deserve our attention since they are beautifully made. We have wonderful riveting, panel lines and most importantly their thickness. This could be an issue with 70 second scale kit and trumpeter made successful effort here to provide quite thin verticals for that kit. We have the proper dashboard on the sprue too the one with the displays. Back to the stabilizers, I gotta add that the decision of how to attach those to the sprue is quite interesting. Maybe this will eliminate the option to position the stabilizer straight up, a mistake quite often done by modelers. Vertical stabilizers on 29 are inclined a bit and they have slightly v-shaped and being parallel. Then we have one big sprue holding the horizontal stabilizers, intakes, gear struts and the towing rod with its details. Here despite the scale we have support design and detailing. Everything is done from top to bottom, especially the small parts. Another pleasant surprise for me was that the gear struts which appear to be quite delicate are here and 
are very impressive. Also, the intakes. When it comes down to Russian jets, they are often a subject of discussion. I cannot be sure how accurate they are here, but they look wonderfully molded and detailed all around. We have rivets, panel lines and texturing of all kinds all over this sprue on every detail. Minor and tiny parts too, pretty impressive overall. We have two equal sprues with the pylons, external fuel tanks and R60 rockets. Fuel tanks are something that you rarely see on a jet for close air superiority, so they are not of any particular interest. R60s are designed in a way that you will need almost no work after removing them from the sprues, which is the newest trend in aviation modeling. The pylons are good, although I think they are a bit thick. Just a little bit. Unfortunately, having those detailed all around will prevent you from thinning them with sanding. Although, if you are that devoted, there are ways of thinning down double-sided parts too. In all honesty, I must add that the external fuel tanks are a bit of a letdown that comes down from that particular sprue. Everything is rather rough and with bulged panel lines, so having in mind what I just said a minute ago, I will consider those a trash bin decoration instead of putting them on that beautiful kit. Lastly, we have two more sprues with rockets. I will not exaggerate here and I will tell you they are a bit chunky. Not for the scale, but in general. For that scale, they are more than perfect. One. We have an abundance of weaponry with this SMT kit. 2. We have rockets cleverly engineered placed on the sprue in a way that will give you least hassle possible. And 3. We have a lot to choose from knowing that MiG-29 almost never fly fully armed and even if you load everything you will still have parts left. Especially KH-31s. They are a nice execution and I wonder did Trumpeter manage to make them so nice because they have experience in that scale or scale modeling in general went so far that the scale is not of such vital importance when it comes down to details anymore. The clear parts of Trumpeter's SMT are another surprise that comes down with the small bird. We have three small sprues, two holding the canopy parts and one for the lights. All three of them without defects or anything special needs noticing, without one exception. The front part of the canopy or the windshield have two lines that are molded into the part. The thing is, on the real aircraft, these are not part of the clear element and they do not look like that. If we scale up here to reality, we will have one holy ugliness. But this is 70 second scale and this flaw can be forgiven. The fact that we have it present here gives you the option to at least show it and even out of proportion it is there which is important too for many modelers. Otherwise the parts are not thin or at least not thin enough to keep the reality. But hopefully in 30 second scale edition from Trumpeter will have that one fixed. In the same time transparency is at very high level higher than some 48 scale kits and even 30 second scale birds. Now a little something that we from DN Models added to this kit and to the Great Wall Hobby One. First we researched thoroughly to find the most accurate camo scheme available. Then we turned that into a mask set for this 70 second scale little beast. After that we did it for the Great Wall Hobby Kit too. The Great Wall Hobby have some issues with the camo schemes, mostly accuracy of the spots. And 70 second scale masks are quite a relief when it comes down to painting, so we decided to give our best to join the SMT party here and be helpful to others. Same goes for the Great Wall Hobby kits where the accuracy issues featured in the instructions and give a slightly better camo scheme in the mask set. Soon, once the 30 second scale kit is available and on the shelves, the end models will add more to the SMT line. Hopefully, all of these will be very useful for modelers who want to replicate the camo scheme perfectly. In conclusion, absolutely fantastic 70 second scale MiG-29. 
Trumpeter are a company that often neglect things, either miss something or do something wrong or just do it in an odd way. Here everything looks spot on. For that scale, this is one of the best if not the best scale models that I've seen. The riveting is superb, the panel lines too. Zvezda 70 second scale kits are also great but they lack rivet and here we have a better plastic, better instructions and better decals of course. I have to admit that I was pleasantly surprised with this kit and I can highly recommend that to anybody interested in the subject and prepared to go for 70 second scale. It is true that we have MiG-29 SMTs and 48 scale from Great Wall Hobby and we will soon have it in 30 second scale from Trumpeter but still this kit here worths it. I would say that there might be a return of that scale quite soon and that scale was leading in 80s and 90s so very quickly and swiftly it might turn the model makers and the whole market. After all we all struggle to do a better miniature so probably the smaller the kit the better. With that detail that we have here, well, you can judge for yourself. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you find that useful and want to see more, hit the like button, comment down below and I will see you in the next one.